All right, guys, if you're in the market for a new compound bow and your budget is below $500 or right around the $500 mark, this might be your new choice. Alright guys, so like I said, if you're in the market for a new bow and you have kind of a low budget, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but if you have a lower budget, you might want to check out some of Bear Archery's bows. This here is the Bear Approach. This bow was released in 2018 and one of the things that I really like about Bear Archery is they're not like some companies where all they have is high dollar bows or all they have is like a real low quality bow. Bear has bows from the very top all the way down to the bottom in the couple hundred dollar range this bow prices out at about four hundred dollars i think you can get them anywhere from 250 to, to 500 depending on what you get on them this bow comes with a couple different attachments on it when you get it like your sight and your stabilizer a quiver and a few other small things but it's completely customizable just like any other compound bow one of the things that I like about this bow is for being a 400, $300 to $400 bow, this thing is nice and smooth. The relief on it is great. It's at 75%, so you, uh, you can sit there and hold that thing forever without feeling like you're holding all 70 pounds in your hand. Same, when I first got this bow, it came with a bunch of Trophy Ridge stuff all over it, and I went out and put my own stuff on it. Um, just so it was, it just fit me better and it shot better for, for my style. Um, I recommend to anybody to go out and buy this, this bow bare bones. So that's without any of this stuff on it. And then put your own stuff on it, put your own arrow rest on it, put your own sight on it, put your own quiver on it, stabilizer. So all together, there's probably a little over a thousand dollars tied up in this bow, but everything that's attached to it is high quality. So I know that it's going to last and I know I'm going to get good performance out of it. And that was all by my choice rather than it being put on there and then me having to deal with the sights not shooting in because it's got plastic pins or my arrow quiver's not holding arrows anymore because it's all chintzy Chinese plastic. How many have you killed with it? I have killed one doe with this bow so far. Um, last year, I've had it for two years, but last year was my first year archery hunting with it did a lot of hunting with it last year and got lucky with one decent doe last year so um it took me a long time to get this thing shot in to where i'm just drilling holes now so stacking arrows on top of each other i got to be really careful i don't robin hood myself so i shoot at different spots with it um, and for a 300 hundred dollar bow that's great you don't don't see that through a lot of other companies the quality of the parts on this bow are hands down just of high grade you don't there's no like hard pvc plastics or anything like that everything is like a carbon of some sort or an aluminum frame nice heavy cams on it this is a single cam bow so and it it has a nice smooth rotation when drawing it back uh, it comes in a couple different colors. Like I said, this one came out in 2018, so there's been two approaches that have come out since then, and they might they might be a little bit better. When the approach first came out, it didn't have any of the new technologies that had just come out in 2018. But you know, I think it does just fine for not having those things. Fred Bear's been around a while. He was the father, probably, of modern day compound, archery, yeah. yeah, archery. Once I got all that old stuff off of there that was put on this bow from the store and I put this stuff on, this bow performed immaculately. It didn't take me any time at all to start consistently putting arrows on target where I wanted them, 
from 25 yards all the way out to 55 yards it does flawlessly I haven't had a single issue out of jumping strings or any type of hesitation in the draw whatsoever it just does really really good so in my opinion for the price range check out some of Fair Archery's compound bows because for the price range that they're in they are absolutely phenomenal bows in my opinion so I mean everybody wants to have a Hoyt RX3 but not everybody has three thousand dollars laying around where they can go out and buy one of those so if you're anything like me and you're you try to be a little bit frugal when it comes to this sport like dad said last week you can go out and spend all that money on a raven if you got it but i like spending my money on other things when it comes to these sports like he said i like hunting and fishing and all kinds of different shooting sports so there's a lot of money that's got to be distributed and i got to be intelligent when making purchases like this so and i i don't regret this purchase whatsoever it's a great bow it's done great for me and like i said i haven't had any issues out of it so i'm going to go over some of the specs for this bow real quick so I've got these specs written down on my phone. I'm just going to go over them real quick. That way you guys have a complete description of this bow and the attributes of it. So this is the Bear Approach. It was the version that came out in 2018. The brace height on this bow is 6.25 inches. You're looking at a ATA length of 32 inches. That's axle to axle. So from the end of one cam to the end of the other is 32 inches, just shy of 3 feet. Your draw length is anywhere from 23 and a half to 30.5 inches, so 30 and a half inches. Your draw weight is anywhere from 45 pounds up to 70 pounds. I personally have mine set at 70 pounds. Um, IBO speed, which is your, uh, your arrow speed, you're looking at 330 feet per second. It weighs four pounds and your let off is 75%, which is, that's pretty good. So when you're in full draw, and you're holding that bow there, holding that bow there, waiting for that deer to get into the position where you can let that arrow fly, the less weight that you have to retain right here at your fingertips, the better. Because the longer you're holding that shot, the more you're going to start swaying, the more you're going to start shaking, and that arrow might not end up exactly where you want it to go. So the newer version of this is the Bear Approach HC. This one came out in 2019. The brace height is 6 inches, 32 inch ATA, draw length is 25.5 to 30 inches, so there's a 2 inch gap there between my bow and the HC. Draw weight is 45 to 70, uh, IBO speed is 340 foot per second, so you're getting 10 more feet per second out of the HC than you are out of the standard approach. It also weighs 4 pounds and let off is 75. The Bear Approach, the original one, runs anywhere from $259 up to $600. And I'm guessing that that depends on which package you get. Um, and then the HC runs anywhere from $315 up to $600. So they're right in the same price range. Like I said, I think it just depends on what you get attached to that bow when you buy it. But in my recommendation, just buy a blank bow and then take it to your local archery shop, have them help you through picking out your sights, your quiver, your stabilizer, your rest, all that stuff, and they will help you set it up and get that bow paper tuned for you to where you're drilling tacks all day long. Um, so that's my review of the Bear Approach. This thing is an excellent bow. I haven't had any issues with it, like I was saying, and if that's within your price range, I highly recommend that you pull the trigger on it and do it, or whatever the newest bear archery is on this price range i'm sure they did just as good of a job on that as they did on this so once again we really appreciate you guys coming out and checking the videos out make sure you hit that like and subscribe button that way we know that you guys are out there and you're watching and plus you get all the updates on everything new that's coming out for the channel so like we said in previous videos we're continuing to put out videos after all of covid19 here and you guys are going to be with us the whole way through our hunting season from start to finish. So a few weeks ago we put out videos about setting up some feed and cameras. We did, we taught you guys about our bows and what we're going to be using through the season. 
and then next week we're going to go pull cards out of those cameras so stay tuned for that and you get to see what we have at our property this year so that's basically wraps up what our schedule's looking like here in the future so moving forward you guys have seen in all the videos i've been sponsored by fnx fitness that's fnxfit.com uh, excellent company makes awesome products such as super greens for digestion proteins both vegan and non-vegan they make pre-workouts bcaa's amino acids all kinds of different great workout products they are kind and friendly and a great company to deal with the shipping is astronomically fast i ordered my product and it wasn't even a day and a half later and it was sitting on my front doorstep so for ordering something offline from a small company like that that doesn't get any better um, you can check out that website again that's fnxfit.com use promo code buck15 for 15 percent off your purchases and that's all future purchases so if you want to buy something tomorrow and then something next week you can use that 15 percent no matter what so once again, we thank you guys for coming out and checking us out. Don't be afraid to hit those comments down below. If you're interested in any of the equipment used in the videos, hit those links down in the description. That's all my cameras, my editing software, my computers, so on and so forth. And with that, we will see you guys next week. Bye.